So last night, Justin Fields made it officially known that he will be transferring from Georgia to Ohio State. Now, we all know what Tate Martell has been saying in the media. Basically, I'm going to bring his tweet up right here. Word of advice. Don't swing and miss, especially your second time. Now, what Tate Martell said is actually true. Justin Fields doesn't want to come to Ohio State thinking everything is sweet, you know, think he's going to immediately start over Tate Martell and get his feelings hurt and have to sit out a few more years. You know, uh, we all know Justin Fields came out uh, the number two uh, best quarterback in this class after Trevor Lawrence. Now, me personally, I don't know why he went to Georgia. I think he thought it was sweet and that he was that much better than Fromm and that even though Fromm took them to the national title, he could still outplay him, outwork him. But Fromm showed that, you know, he had a firm grasp on that position. Now, also, Tate Martell doesn't want to write a check that his mouth can't cash. He doesn't want to let Justin Fields come there and take his spot. So the good thing, though, for Tate Martell, so the good thing for Tate Martell, uh, Justin Fields played over the four games, you know, to get the red shirt and transfer and move on and everything like that. But he honestly may seek a transfer waiver, the same waiver we just saw work for Shea Patterson when he transferred from Ole Miss to, you know, Michigan, got to play immediately. And uh, with the hype around this and everything and the nuance around it, uh, this would be completely unprecedented. And uh, it actually will probably make for a pretty crazy QB battle. Now, I'm not sure the type of teammate that Tate Martell and Justin Fields are. I'm not sure if they're going to have some real animosity against each other. Now, you know, as men, you're definitely going to have that competitive factor into it. And you're going to go head to head. You probably won't speak to each other like that. But one thing I, I know Ohio State really doesn't want is I'm pretty sure they don't want a split locker room. I'm pretty sure they don't want Team Tate and Team Justin. But, you know, uh, Tate Martell has been there in the program, redshirt freshman, going to be a redshirt sophomore next year. And he should have the upper hand on everything. But, like I said, with the coaching change, you know, if the, if the coach revamps the offense and everything like that, they can both be basically starting from square one. The only thing is that Tate Martell – you know, is a known face around campus. But I have a lot of friends who are Ohio State fans, and a lot of them, you know, they they don't even trust Tate Martell, per se. You know what I mean? Uh, they necessarily don't know if he can even really throw like that. But I say the same thing about Justin Fields. He was pretty efficient in Georgia, but for the most part, he was running the ball, handing it off, and everything like that. But, but things should be interesting, especially when, you know, both quarterbacks – were, you know, stars on the show QB1. Tate Martell was the first season, and then Justin Fields was the second season. So it's kind of like the stars are aligning perfectly to really see, you know, who's two of the best quarterbacks from that show. Now, the thing is, what would Tate Martell do if he does end up losing the job to Justin Fields, if he, you know, gets the uh, the red shirt um, waiver cleared and everything like that? Does he transfer? Does he stay in mope? You know, does he actually try to fight for his job back? Now, if there is one thing we do know about Tate Martell, you know what I mean? He does have that certain cocky, confident bravado about him. So I don't think he's going to lay down and die by any means. I actually think this is going to push him and 100% make him work harder. But, you know, in the, you know, it's, it's a crazy business because, you know, you're waiting in the wings thinking, you know, once Haskins leaves, you're going to you're going to come and do your thing. But the other thing it could do to him, like something it would probably do to a lot of people's egos is like uh, Ohio State is really – you know, showing you what your worth is. You're expendable, you know, uh, which uh, which most people are in sports. Nobody, except for a select few, are like cream of the crop. Nobody can take their spot. But, you know, it's got to be that next man up mentality. So that's got to mess with your, uh, that's got to mess with your ego a little bit. You know, they basically saying like, hey, you're good, but we think this dude might be better. So we're going to go out and, you know, recruit him to come to the program, you know, because it's not Ohio State's fault. They're not going to turn down you know, one of the better quarterback, young quarterbacks in the nation. That would be silly to do that in college football. You're constantly trying to bring in the best talent year after year after year after year. So if a freshman ends up taking a junior spot, so be it. Because the goal is to win and to win national championships. Nonetheless, though, guys, this should be interesting. Let me know in the comment section below who you guys want to see become a starter. Do you guys believe Tate Martell has what it has what it takes to, you know, uh, keep Justin Fields off his back? And, uh, you know, make him his backup because, you know, uh, Justin Fields, if he does get this waiver, he will be one year behind Martell. So say Martell wins the job, Martell will be the starter for maybe this year and next year or just this year if he does well enough and leave for the draft. And then Justin Fields could come in right behind him and take the spot. So, you know, I definitely think they are 1A and 1B right now. It's just in the spring, one of those dudes are going to have to separate themselves from the other to take the spot. But.
But all of this is, you know, just hearsay until we find out if Justin Fields does indeed apply for that transfer waiver and becomes, you know, an instant QB battle. But until then, I, I, I would say they take Martell. You know, it's his job to lose. He believes he's going to start 100% as he should. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to react to that quickly, man. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this, reaction videos, and, you know, more news videos and everything. I'm down to do it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely adds, you know, a different vibe to the channel here and there. But subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, arcadegames.com. I'm out of here. Peace.